Hello, I'm Professor Wall, and welcome to our introduction to Amazon Security Management Series. In today's lesson, we'll focus on change management, auditing and compliance, and in an AWS hybrid environment. So you have your Amazon estate, you, you have your servers up there, and maybe your teams have been already using it for development and test, uh, but now you're considering starting to use the AWS environment for your production systems. When you do that, the questions of audit and compliance become much more significant, and this is today's topic. So let's look at a few things that you have at your disposal. First of all, there are some offerings from Amazon that you could use and are relevant. So first we have a tool called CloudWatch. Uh, this is an offering from Amazon that is basically a health monitor and a log server for your instances. Basically, it lets you uh, track the uh, operational setting and status of each of the instances to see if they're running out of resources and so on, if they're generating syslog messages and alarms. Uh, so a useful uh, tool to use uh, mostly for an operational environment, less so for an audit capability. A second utility you can use from Amazon is called CloudTrail. This is really an audit um, system for API calls. So if you have an automated system that automatically modifies settings on your Amazon estate, then um, using CloudTrail, you can see uh, which API calls have been invoked and what they're doing. So again, this is something that is useful to, um, uh, to use when you're subject to audit. However, this is not all that you could hope for, and you might need additional things, and that's where you can turn to third-party solutions that augment the offering from Amazon and move you along in your, Amazon, in your uh, regula regulation requirements. So why do you need that? Well, if your servers in the Amazon estate are processing any kind of sensitive data, for instance, if you are processing credit cards, you're subject to PCI. If you are a uh, publicly traded company, then you're probably subject to SOX. Uh, if you're um, managing uh, medical data using those servers, you're probably subject to HIPAA, and so on and so forth. There are multiple regulations depending on which uh, business you're in. Uh, and to be able to use your Amazon cloud for this type of data, that estate becomes part of your audit uh, and compliance reporting, and you need the right tools and systems and solutions to help you along to meet those requirements and to provide the reporting that the auditors are going to ask you for. So you want to find solutions that work in a hybrid environment that give you the same types of reporting that you get with your traditional firewalls. You want the same reporting on your Amazon firewalls. Uh, what are the things that you might need from such a solution? So obviously you need uh, the regulatory compliance reporting, but to do that, <clears throat> the solutions also have to be able to analyze your setting properly and understand the security stance that is protecting your data. And for that, you need, first and foremost, visibility. <clears throat> you need, the, the third-party solution needs to be able to view the rules from all the security groups that are protecting each instance and all being the key factor here, if you saw the previous class, you realize that there is a many-to-many -many mapping between security groups and instances, and that can lead to quite a bit of complexity, just understanding what are the rules that are protecting a given instance is a complex task, and of course it's critical to be able to demonstrate any kind of compliance. So visibility of this type is key. Another thing that you need is the ability to search across the rules, across your whole hybrid estate. Remember, you have other firewalls protecting other pieces of your environment, protecting your data centers, protecting your remote offices. You need to get a holistic view of all of these uh, security protections to be able to meet your audit requirements. And a third-party solution should be able to search across the whole estate, regardless of whether it's a traditional firewall or an AWS firewall. You want the same capabilities and the same analysis powers. 
Another thing that is part of every, part, every type of regulation is tracking changes to the security policies. So you need to be able, in the Amazon environment, to track changes to the security group rules. If somebody makes a change to a particular rule, then that can have an impact on your regulatory compliance because that rule is associated with various instances that might be part of the audit estate. So you need alerting and monitoring of such changes. You also need uh, alerting and monitoring for changes to the mapping between security groups and instances. If the mapping is changed, if all of a sudden a security group that used to be associated with certain instances now is no longer associated with those instances, then the protection is changed and this is an event that needs to be notified and audited and tracked. So these types of things are some of the points that you might want to look at when you're evaluating uh, third-party solutions to augment the offering from Amazon protecting your cloud-based estate. Thank you for your attention and I hope to see you next time in another class.